Hi, I'm Old Sneaklock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneaklock's Workshop. I have another item for sale. And this is considered to be one of the best saw sets ever. Now myself, I like it for just one thing. Small saws. When you're working with a saw like this back saw, it has very small teeth. And the plunger on this number 42 is narrow. Having the narrow plunger on the saw set means I can set it over this saw even though it has 14 teeth per inch and hit one tooth. You get some of the bigger ones with the larger anvils. They want to hit two teeth at once, which makes it difficult to get a good set on a saw with 14 teeth or more. I like it for that reason. Nice thing about it is it's a neutral hand position. When you're setting the tooth, instead of having your hand up at a funny angle, you're holding it in a ergonomically neutral position. And it lets you just use a couple of fingers and you can bend the teeth quite easily. All the screws and adjustments working quite well. It's been cleaned. This one came to me painted. I didn't see where anybody painted it. It looks like this was factory paint. But it's been a nice saw set for me. I just have one that's a little bit better than the other three. So I'm going to keep the one good one. I have one that's just a little bit better than this one. It's kind of a coin toss between them. But I really don't need four of them, and so I'm going to let three of them go. So I'm going to list three of them in separate auctions, and may the best man win. If you have any suggestions for new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC. 